the sound alternative. Good morning. This is Will 789GB, and we're now starting the Wild Show. A little bit late, but that was just because I had a longer track than I thought it was. You can't have another uh, I, minute. No, Chris is here as it happens. He's been very indisciplined. He's started talking already. But our plan, which we're going to stick to, is that he starts roughly about half past ten. Our producer's not here, so Panda... No, bang on half ten. Bang on half... No, Chris, don't worry. We'll have to wait and see. Um, our, our producer, JD, has caught a slight cold. And he's not here. But... Um, we no, think he'd not been sacked. <laughs> he's not been sacked. That's that's very yeah. good news. He may be sacked later in the show. <laughs> but if he's not here, what difference will it make? JD, you're not sacked. No, we believe we have one listener, at least. Probably more than that. Anyway, um, I'm going to start a little bit hospital radio because you never know who's ill staying at home. Um, so this is uh, this is some Marvin Gaye. Or no regulation. Well, yes, we've moved we've moved off just to to keep the listeners up to date. That's from the uh, the CD, the Soulful Moods of Marvin Gaye. It's produced by Barry Gordy, and it's widely assumed it's Marvin Gaye on drums and possibly piano as well from some time ago but we, th- we thought it fitted into the the mood of this to try and keep somebody company who's a bit under the weather sitting at home we imagine has he has he phoned in yet he texted me yes he's wasting he's wasting your time again isn't it? well he's not wasting your time but it, it is the problem i want to talk about because i've noticed that um when the producer jd and yourself chris yes start texting each other Yes. It starts out in a disciplined sort of way, and you only do it when the music is playing. But after a bit, he starts taking up your time, and you're pouring over your phone, yeah, I don't, answering him. I don't think he realised that this is all I play from. Oh. Um, and for, this is Chris, where just, the just, just a moment, just for the listeners, you, you're holding up your phone now, yeah. which they can't see. So basically, you've got your phone, which is yeah. Bluetoothed into the desk. Yeah. So the music is coming from that, and you're also answering all these texts that the producer is sending you as well. Yeah. Well, it's not going to work, is it? No. But I don't think JD has... Well, this is going to be a great show because we're going to be able to complain about him for the next hour and a half or so. And he won't be able to answer back unless he sends you a message. So what I want to discuss, really, Chris, two things. You believe that when JD and I are talking about uh, Gibson Burrell and his design ideas, putting signs all over the place, that we're destroying the ceiling and, and and the carpet... We, I thought we'd moved on from that. Well, exactly. JD that's... has commented. Oh, OK. Well, let's stop and listen to JD's comment. JD says, I am around in a, a boat way only if the gaps are filled with comment. Oh. I think that means content. Content. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we could do some of that, I suppose. We yeah. could do some of that. But no. Look, let's go back. So we've we've established the problem is the gaps. There are gaps in the show. There are times in the show. Well, every show that we've done has had a certain amount of silence in it. Yeah. And we're going to regard that as a problem. I'm and not. Well, you you're not bothered about it. No. Oh. I'm doing my best. You're trying hard. Yeah. It's the producer who's leading you astray. Yeah. So we've established that. Yeah. But I want to go back to the th- to the, four, the, the four dimensions, well, two dimensions, let's say, with, with a, an extreme at both ends of them. So it's an earlier diagram Mr. Burrell did with Mr. Morgan because it may sound a bit academic, but it, it may help us. So, Chris, I've shown you the three bits of paper and there's one 
sign on the back. Yeah, I behind see you. that. So I'm not going to do anything to the floor or the ceiling. You're not to worry. Right. Good. We've just got behind you change, and in front of you will be regulation. So I'm going to say that um, the regulation would be there are no gaps in the show at all. I think the phonic management and Ofcom believe that radio should have no silences in it. But then the other walls, the two walls sort of either side of you, can be objective and subjective. Because at the end of this show, you subjectively may think the show's gone really well. You're going to say it was quite all right. Yeah. There weren't that many gaps, and they were all for a good reason, and the audience didn't mind. Something no. like that. Yeah. Somebody may even send us a message saying they liked the gaps, or they thought the explanation for the gaps was reasonable. Something like that. But I believe our producer is taking notes. He is writing down how many gaps there are. Probably. And yeah. he's going to compare the statistics with last week. Yeah, JD, we want a pie chart and a graph as well. You're getting the idea of this, Chris. I can see it's going to go well. I think I'm going to play some music. This, um, this next track is uh, Shania Twain and also... Alison Krauss and the Union Station. Uh, I'm holding on to love. Yes, uh, the show's going a little bit country, Chris. Just a little bit. Yep. Has, has our producer been in touch? He has. He says 301 gaps already. Oh, did 301? Yeah. That's an awful lot. Three, he's reckons there's three minutes of gaps. Yeah. The show's only been going 18 minutes. It's not that It's not that bad. <laughs> no, I'm I not... think Jack... Well, he might be on cough medicine. It <laughs> well, might be true. deleting. Yes. 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 Well, if that's the objective measure... I just want to say a little bit about the word change behind you, Chris, because it is the opposite end to regulation. I'm not getting changed. You don't want to change anything. I'm not... I'm not... stripping of in this studio. No, no, no. You don't have to change your clothes. No, yeah. no. No, it's just that as an organisation, in theory, as an organisation, this show, The Wild Show, the, it could be totally regulated and obeyed... Well, regular. you said it's changed. Well, it you has changed. You said it does I change. used to be wild. Now I'm mellow. Oh, yeah, I, th I think that's true. Well, is that a good thing, though, Chris? I mean, do we have a regulation that it has to be wild or what wild is? No, no, there are no regulations. New regulations? No, no, oh, no regulations. regulations. OK, so that's So, you know your regulations, <laughs> no, it's rip no, don't rip it up, Chris. No, I've got, I want to stick it on the wall. <laughs> Then, we'll, then we can wander about the studio, depending on which we favour. But I can see what you're saying. You're, you want to get rid of the regulations and yeah. head towards the change end of the studio. Yeah. But unfortunately, that's the opposite end of the desk. So <laughs> that, I'm, no, just, I'm, just, I'm just noting down your vote there. I'm not But you'll have to come behind this desk eventually. Yeah. And then it will all change. Then the it will all change. The wild show will become wild. <laughs> It will. And, and then we'll imagine um, JD, who's going to be on the objective end of, the, of things with his stopwatch yeah. as to how many gaps there are. Yeah. Which is, which is well, not, he's already said there's 301 gaps. Already? Yeah. Well, that was before that was, before, that was his last <laughs> calculation. Yeah. It's probably much worse by now. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go a little bit more wild. Okay. I think if I can remember which... Oh, I see, they both say track three. I do get confused. I think this is going to be, be um, Ro Robbie, Robbie Williams. I got, I got this in the um, recycling shop oh. by, the, by, the, by Exeter's recycling system near Pinho. And the strange thing was, you get four for a pound, four CDs for a pound, but they want to weigh them. 
So I think I think it's all about how much landfill they've avoided. Very strange. Do you do you do you buy CDs by by so many tons? No. And JD said five oh four gaps now. Five oh four. It's twenty past. He reckons twenty five percent of this show is gaps. <laughs> yeah. Very strange. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, look. Moving into the wilder state, <laughs> the wilder phase of the show is uh, a Sam Lamore jumping radio mix of a track called Radio by Robbie Williams. And you could have had four more like this for a pound. That's recycled bits and pieces from Exeter City Council. Wow. It's a pretty good deal, isn't it? And then yeah. they want to weigh them because their targets are... Get this is just my guess. If anybody else knows why they want to weigh them, you could um, look on our Facebook group and send us a message. The Wild Show has got a Facebook group. Okay, that was the Wurzels with Why Does It Always Rain On Me? Um, and hello, you're listening to The Wild Show here on Phonic FM 106.8 and now Will has changed to the other side of the desk and he's been sticking things all around this studio. Regular uh, posters that say subjective, objective and regulation. And change. And change, which you've written on the board. And um, I'm in favour of Um, change. Well, if we were just playing this as a game, Chris, you would move towards change in the room. Would I? But you should stay behind that desk where the regulation is, because you are in control at this time. I am. I'm firmly in control. Okay, I've just got to find the next track. Because one of our regular old listeners has started listening again. So Paul Harris from the Prop Factory in Exeter. Here is House of the Rising Sun by the Animals for you. So it will be coming up in a minute because Paul has come into this show before and Trogan and he was a very nice person. So here is House of the Rising Sun. Well, it is at some point. This is one of those little gaps that our producer worries about, but we don't worry about it because the right tune will appear soon. Yeah, it will. It will appear... It will appear about now. Okay, let's go, let's see, here it is. Uh, that was the stereophonic, and now with the marvel of technology, we should have been joined by JD, so... Well, I, well, just... Hello, JD. Good morning, Mr. Noon. Uh, it's, not very, not, it's not a very good morning here, anyway. It's raging. OK, <laughs> um, JD. Yes. Uh, hold on. Um, OK, JD, you're coming through loud and clear. That's very good, thank you very much. So I can't know. really hear you. I don't really? know why it... 
I, I okay, Will just handing me his earphones. Okay. <laughs> Which are a bit broken. Uh, that should be better, JD. Yes, should it should be better. Yeah. Am I sounding better? You yes. are. Will <laughs> can't hear you. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, alright. <laughs> right, out. OK, um, we're just trying to sort out headphones. OK. Well, I'm, at, I'm by my pool at the moment. Are you? We, yeah. You must be a bit mad. Uh, I am. Not uh, a bit. I am mad. <laughs> OK. Uh, shall I, I'll just ask Will. Will, can you hear? Don't worry, don't worry, because you, you carry on talking. OK, Will can't hear us. Don't worry, we okay. need We need you back. See, all okay. this mayhem breaks out when you're not here. Ah, uh, well, there you go, you see. I'm Valiant's customer. Yeah, oh. Um, Will's just repositioning the mic. Which remind me, I should have done that, and that I sound that much better, Chris. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you're by your pool. Yes, I'm by my pool. It's looking a bit brown today, so I thought I'll, I'll give it a miss. Okay. A lot, a lot, of people, a lot of people don't know. So I've got a bedroom which overlooks the swimming pool. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. So I can look out the window and I can see. The birds come down and they drink the water from it. Okay. I apologise my voice. I've got a, as I said, I've been coughing like mad all, all week. And uh, so it's sort of caught up with me a bit. But it happens, you know. We just get on with life, don't we? Yeah, we do. Well, we'll be back next week to help. Yeah, I'll be, if, if not, I'll send, I'll send in my, my colleague. To help us with our 1,000 minutes of silence. Yes, yes, that's right, yes. Right. It, looks like you're going, it looks like you're going to need sorting out on that department, I think. So you do know <laughs> the show's only been going for 60 minutes. So to have 1,000 minutes of silence would be... Yes. Quite <laughs> spectacular. Uh, yes, you just were broadcasting. Even my mask can work that out. <laughs> well, there you go. So you've been you've been broadcasting to nobody. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I got the technology working. Um, well, I'll uh, hand you. I'll hand the headphones back to Will, and he can okay. have a talk with you. He's okay. got posters all around the studio and he'll want yeah. to talk to you about that. Okay, for them. Hey, Chris. Is Mike, is Mike too up? Um, it is <laughs> now. It is now. Hello, JT. Good morning, sir. Oh, I can hear you. You're in my headphones now. This is brilliant. Uh, how, how are you? Um, Are you getting a bit better as it goes along? It is, it is a little, it's very rough at the beginning, but it's sort of on and off, you know. So yesterday I was better than today I wasn't. So it's oh. on and off. <laughs> so I, I will battle on, as I do. Right. It takes me about a week and a bit to get on with it. Oh, well, I hope you're, I'll be back next week. We'll, we'll sort of hold, yeah. hold on for that. Yes, or well, Chris will have to do the whole, whole show himself. Well, no, I'm still in next week. I think the week the week after I might be away, but he'll have got the hang of it I'm by then. I'm not sure that's allowed, Will. Oh, I might I might not be allowed to go. We'll really? see. Well, we'll see. Is we'll he, see how it all works out. Uh, he's barring you, is he now? No, he's insisting I stay here. Yeah, really? I am. <laughs> he's going to lock you in the studio. But it's quite possible. <laughs> quite possible. But anyway, it's, it's quite it's quite nice to listen to the show at this end, you know. Oh, it you, gives a bit of different flavour. Yes. To, I don't see Chris's face, which is really nice. I see. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's cruel. Um, yeah, that's very no, cruel. I just, I, it is, it is, it is, it is, but below the belt, sorry. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but I, it's, uh, you know, that's our humour, isn't it? That's how the show is all based on humour. It is based on humour. Yeah. Yes, but JD, just to, just to explain, I've I have got my signs on the four walls, and I've left yes. the I've left the ceiling and the and the carpet alone. <laughs> really? Because Chris well, yeah. Chris has been very worried about this. The the other time <laughs> when we when we tried to go in a three dimensional diagram, yeah. you tried to remove the floor and the ceiling. No, we didn't. We didn't. We let they were they were fine, Chris. But you were you were worried about it. So, so J, right. J, JD, I think we're, do, we're doing we're going to do a lot better with this two dimensional diagram because I think right. Chris has un- Chris has understood it for one thing, and yeah. so we've got regulation and change, and he's in favour of, of change. He doesn't think the wild right. show should be regulated at all. But your right. ob- your objective measures, we have to say, we we have no confidence in them at all. You, you you claim to have found a thousand minutes of silence already. Have I got that right? Yes, yes, I have. I've been measuring it with my tape measure. And, <laughs> and we've only been on air 60 minutes. <laughs> yes, so it needs improvement, I think, so we need to get the uh, glue out and join it together. Ah, oh, OK. Well, that, that might be one solution. Yep. But the, I mean, the question is really what we're doing with the silence. Whether we whether we are able to be doing something else that is helping in some way. Get rid right. of the producer. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's Chris, that's probably an achievement. Chris, Chris, there's a button. I know. The ceiling, and I've got a button here, and I can push it. <laughs> oh, he's going to get rid of us, Chris. He's going to close us down. Well, he's going to close us down as far as he's concerned. But that's that's not objective, really, is it? As far as he's concerned, the radio has stopped. So it solved his problem. Yeah. But has it helped us? If he takes his hearing aids out, that will solve the problem. Well, I don't know. That's going a bit far. JD, listen, it's yeah. very wonderful to hear you. And, and we hope it, I hope your, your, your cold goes away. Yes, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Right. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that quick. And, and, and uh, can you tell Chris to watch out? You know, because uh, you know, I might meet him on the dark alley. Mm. Chris, <laughs> I think you're getting to him. He's saying you must tone down your banter because <laughs> he's too sensitive. Really? You've got you've got to remember, Chris. You're dealing with a sick person, yes. and you can't be too cruel. <laughs> I think, not, I think that's what he's saying. I'm not just, being just, cruel. Just tell him I've got a lovely swimming pool up here, nice and cold. Ah. Oh. He's <laughs> worried that he was sacked earlier in the show. Yeah, he, well, that... he was rehired, <laughs> and I just sent him a message saying he'd not sacked. Oh, so. that's all right. Well, J- uh, Jody, you're hearing all this. I'm the only one of us that who can hear you at the moment because we we've only got one set of headphones working. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Don't, no, we're not. We're not to worry. JT, right, is, is there any sort of, or sort of music that you think, or a general sort of direction the music should go in that you would actually appreciate at this time? I think we need some. <laughs> I, I can. I, Chris, you have to be shushed sure, because I can't hear what you're saying. JD, start again. I think we need some happy music. Happy music. Which, so we can dance around to, yeah? OK. Because it's, because it's starting to rain here anyway, oh. we need a bit of sunshine, yes? Sunshine music. Sunshine music. OK. So get Chris onto his phone to find some sunshine music. OK, I'll pass that on. Did you hear any of that, Chris? He what? wants happy sunshine He does, music. yes. Yeah, because it, well, it is starting to rain, apparently, but... It, even in, yes, in get, near, near Tynmouth. I will find some. I will just type in happy and see what <laughs> it brings up. OK, that sounds good. OK. Uh, uh, remember, this is from my phone, so... Well, JT, uh, you're, go- you're going to get, get something from Chris's phone now. Is Chris's phone a happy phone? Well, it's a sort of random sort of phone, I think. How about the Happy Mondays? Yes, OK, go on, off you go then. 
it's not Monday, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no, we know that, but <laughs> it might be. We, 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 he doesn't want the happy Monday. No, he's happy. He's, he doesn't mind. He's just letting us know okay. he knows what day it is. So he's not. He's not that. He hasn't is been ill that long. <laughs> JD, don't, 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 don't stay ill for another ten days because you will lose track. Okay, oh, no. here is <laughs> Happy from Despacito in a minute. Uh, it's there now. So next time I go live, we will have Happy from Despacito for JD. Okay, JD, we're going to let you go now. Okay. okay. I'm going back to bed. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let him celebrate not being sacked. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Okay. And I may have got this slightly wrong because I had to reconnect. But it is coming. It will be there in two minutes. We need our producer back. Um, okay, it should be here now. Okay, that was R.E.M. with shiny, happy people. And... Well, have you seen what our producer's been doing on paper? No, I've seen the panda. I'm not sure who the panda meant to be, <laughs> if it's me or if it's you. Well, perhaps it's, um, hmm, I don't yeah. know. What sort of music is the panda playing? Uh, well, I don't know that much. He oh. doesn't tell me that. No, I'll have, a, I'll have a look later, Chris, and I'll, I'll try and get the soundtrack yeah, as well. Yeah, because Will hasn't got a phone in the studio. No, I imagine, I imagine the sound... He got about seven somewhere else, right? They're not with him. No, I've got... I, I have a very simple... Anyway, sorry, Chris, I, I'm not going to take the audience's time up with this sort of thing, but I've got... I have a very simple phone for making phone calls and then I go home and sit at my desktop. But I'll probably see the panda later on and when I get the sound chat to the panda, I'll know what's what. I don't think there is a soundtrack. Oh, well, there ought to be. Yeah. We'll ask JD to supply another panda I've with a sound chat. I've asked JD who's the <laughs> panda. And Listen now he's just come back on Facebook. Listeners, this is a very slow radio show, but uh, it will get better if you tune into Facebook later. I'm not sure I like this. He just told me I'm the panda. You're the panda. Well, at least we know. <laughs> We've got the answer. Uh, the audience will have to look at the, face, the Wild Show Facebook page to understand what we're talking about. I'm going to ask JD what the panda playing. This will take a, a small length of time, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, but it so will be well worth it. So... Just go, can I just go back to the main theme, Chris? The amount of, of regulations that are ignored during the show have some relation to the amount of change and potential. So when the panda takes over and is doing the whole show in about a month's time, following a special arrangement with the producer, it might be a positive development. Then again, it might not. OK, um, here is Faithless. We got it the DJ, not the panda. <laughs> OK, that was the... Uh, that was Def Leppard with two steps beyond or to behind. 
Um, and now we hear, well, have we got to say goodbye? We can't say goodbye yet. We've got You've six got minutes. Six minutes. Okay. Use some wisely. Well, okay. The track's so. only three minutes forty eight seconds. Okay. You've well, either got to play another one, or we've got to talk. Okay. What can we say? Well, we could let Felix start early. Nah, that, that, right. that would be generous, wouldn't it? You yeah. crack on, you play another song. Okay. Thanks. Not ready yet. Okay, <laughs> so here is um, the animal. We've got to get out of this place and I'll have to find something else. Okay, well, we we have been told we've well, got. Chris, to what talk. marks have we got? Oh, yes, one and two. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Chris, I want to ask you a serious question. Okay. Subjectively, do you think the gaps were all right during the show today? There weren't very I, many of them, were there? I do. I think they were very good. So we, uh, we're we not worried too much about the gaps. What gaps there were, yeah. were for good reasons. Yeah. So what? Exactly. So what the producer has to say about his uh, his objective statistics that he's going to show us next week? Yeah. Well, that'll be very interesting, but we're not um, we're not concerned about that too much at the moment. No, we're we th- not. We thought the show went quite well. We did. So I wonder how the good, the bad, and the ugly will get on. Very well. Terribly, I should imagine. Do they keep records on how many gaps there are? I don't know. We don't have gaps. You don't have any? Not really, no. Oh. Only if something goes catastrophically wrong, which it does happen sometimes, because, you know, it's just the world we live in is, you know, is, is, a, is a thing that happens. Yeah. But, no, usually we're pretty good, so pretty good. Oh, so and gaps... I'm aware that when you put your show out onto um, Dropbox or Mixcloud, wherever you put it on, mm. you can edit out the gaps. And you we can, can edit out the gaps? Yeah. yeah. Go on Spotify, no, not Spotify, uh, Audacity, edit out all the gaps and make it sound all very professional, and then people listening back will never know. Yeah, oh. exactly. Exactly, you see. And then so you can see the people who listened the first day were lying. Yeah. Or you know, they imagined it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's ways around it. Well, that's one way of doing it. And we have to discuss your Twitter. <laughs> Are you getting lots of followers now? Twitter? Yeah. We were. We were getting, like, a couple of hundred, and then I kind of forgot that Twitter existed, and so I haven't looked for a while. Oh. But I do upload shows now and then. It's, get, it's getting... Well, we're getting more social media, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Where, where this all started, Felix, I'll... I'll, I'll Chris and our producer, who's, who's got a cold at the moment, they start sending text messages to each other. Yeah. Which I'm sure is going to generate lots of social media later. But in terms of, in terms of the radio, mm. it just causes silences, quite long silences. Well, if you're just texting and not playing music, then, then that's probably not what you should be doing. Not, no, not what you should be doing. <laughs> exactly. If you but play your music off your phone and then you're texting... It's, it's a it's big problem. Of, um, yeah, it's a bit weird. Mm. Let's put it that way. Yeah. But now we're not bringing loads of big boxes of vinyl like I do. And, you know, no, no. Well, that, that's 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 another answer a way of doing it. But we are keeping records now. Yeah. What but, records have we got? Well, I, I, you have to ask our producer. Jesse or? No, he's making notes. Uh, he's oh, making uh, he's notes. making notes. We d- we've just had a conversation. We don't think it was too bad. Okay. But our producer's been writing things down, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll ask him next week. Okay. Oh, well, time for you guys to. Uh, all right, we've got to go now, Chris. Anyway. I think I think he's all right now. I think he's ready. <laughs> I am yeah. ready. I'm, I'm more than ready now. Yeah. Ow, Felix. Yeah. Yeah.